So you're going to play Pyroborg for the first time, and you want to know what the difference between this role-playing game is and other role-playing games? Well, come aboard, and I'll tell you all about it. My name's Tyler, and I'm the Quartermaster for Limitron, and I'm here to talk about a quick start guide for Pyroborg, the role-playing game. Pyroborg is a D20-based role-playing game. So that means you roll a D20, and you add your ability modifier, either positive or negative, and you're trying to get a difficulty rating of almost always 12. Your core abilities are strength, agility, presence, toughness, and spirit. For attacks, you usually roll your damage right at the same time and make it very easy. So for a melee attack, you roll a d20 and you add your strength, let's say plus two, and you, I roll a 10, I add plus two, did I get a 12? You hit. Then you minus the target's armor. Armor is a damage reduction rating ranging from zero all the way up to d6, and it reduces the amount of damage that the target takes from any attacks. An important note, that armor does not deflect black powder weapons such as pistols and rifles. You do not add your ability modifier to the damage. It's not D6 plus my two strength. It's just a flat D6 across the board. Criticals and fumbles. Critical hits are pretty standard. If you roll a 20, you deal double the amount of damage of whatever you rolled on the dice. Plus you reduce the armor of the target, dropping them down one tier. Important note, you get to use the armor for that attack and then it gets dropped down. And if you roll one, it's a fumble, your weapon breaks or is lost, or it might explode in your hands if you're using a black powder weapon. In Pyroborg, enemies don't roll to attack, players roll to defend. A defense roll is usually a d20 plus your agility modifier, and you're trying to get a 12 or better. If you do, you've dodged the attack. A natural 20 on this defense roll means you get to make an immediate free attack back at the person who attacked you, as long as you're within range. But a natural one means that the enemy has critically hit you. You take double damage and your armor is reduced one tier. Again, remember that you get to roll your armor before it's reduced. Don't worry though, you can mitigate a lot of this damage with Devil's Luck. Devil's Luck is a resource that players get. I personally like to hand out coins around at my table so that they can flip them around and use them as D2s. Devil's Luck can be used to do lots of different things. They can be spent to reroll any dice at the table. Doesn't matter if it's yours or someone else. It can be used to lower the DR by four so let's say I roll the nine, instead of re-rolling that dice and trying to get a 12, I could just spend a devil's luck and lower the DR from a 12 down to an eight and I can succeed. Can also be used to neutralize a critical hit or a fumble. Let's say you don't really care if you miss, but you really, really don't wanna roll one again. Then you might just wanna neutralize it instead of re-rolling it altogether. You can also spend it to maximize your damage roll. You can spend a Devil's Luck to instead of rolling and deal D6 damage, you can roll just an actual six. The last use is to reduce the damage to yourself by D6 amount. It's the only one that's limited to yourself and not to other players. Another important difference of Pirate Borg is that if you go to negative hit points, you're dead. That's it. If you go to zero hit points, you get to roll on the broken chart to see how badly you are messed up. But it's a little bit more nitty gritty and grim dark, and we like it that way. Pyroborg also has complete naval combat rules that allow for a captain to take charge of a ship and all the crew to take different action stations and feel like they're all working together to complete a goal. This section deserves its own video, so your GM will explain more when you get into naval combat, but there are quick start rules in the back of the book along with all the other rules references. Character creation in Pyroborg is fast and simple and is almost always randomly generated. You roll your dice and that will give you what your character is. It adds a lot of fun and flavor to it. And also, if you don't like them, you're probably gonna die soon, so you can just roll up a new one. There's a complete quick start guide found on the back of the book on how to roll up a character step by step. Also, you can find a random pirate generator right on the pirateboard.com website, along with a print-friendly character sheet and the quick start guide, all in PDF form. Pirate Borg as a whole does not have a lot of rules. It's meant to be simple, straightforward, and very narrative focused. But if you turn the pages and you can't seem to find a rule or description or you're curious how something works, the chances are that if it's not defined in the book, the answer truly is, what do you think it should be? So have fun with it. All right, gang, well, that's a brief overview of how to jump into Pirate Borg. If you have any more questions or you want to bounce ideas, please come join us on our Discord, which will be down in the doobly-doo below. And happy sailing.